good morning students in our last class we were discussing the lesson the dear departed part 1 so still there is some part left over today we will be continuing the remaining part of that lesson so in the last class we have seen that emelia and uh, slater has asked victoria to go to her grandfather's room and bring the bunch of keys but victoria was uh, not willing to go then her mother was scolding her that nothing will happen if she go and bring the keys so till there we have seen so now ben in where in this thing he rises and examines it so when she was asking victoria to bring the keys to see the uh, receipt of the premium which he has paid premium which he has paid for that receipt they want to check so then ben got it out and he raises and means he get ups and he examines where uh, in which uh, uh, draw he would have kept then mrs jordan also raising where did you pick that up emelia it's new since last i was here then uh, jordan also she got up and she was asking her asking emelia from where you have picked up this means from there from where you have brought this uh, it was it is looking very new uh, since i means see it's new since last i was here means uh, last time when i came it was not here from where you have brought this she was who jordan was asking they examine it closely who ben and jordan was examining the bureau very closely then mrs slater oh henry picked it up one day then slater was telling who oh, henry has brought it uh, one day then victoria returns very scared she closes the doors af after her so when as victoria went up to her grandfather's room she was very uh, she returns from her grandfather's room and she was very scared and she closes the eyes uh, she closes the doors after her then victoria mother mother then victoria was shouting mother mother then slater what is it child then why uh, then victoria was calling her mother her mother mrs slater she was asking what is it child then victoria was telling grandpa is getting up what did victoria say grandpa is getting up then ben ben was questioning what means they all are shocked because they all knew that the old man grandfather of victoria was dead so for that reason they all have came isn't it so by listening the words of victoria that grandfather is getting up Uh, everyone was in shock so ben was asking what then mrs slater mrs slater also was asking what do you see is what you are telling she was questioning her daughter what you are telling then mrs jordan was telling the child is crazy what jordan is telling the crazy uh, the child is very crazy then mrs slater don't talk so silly don't you know your grandpa's dead then when jordan was telling that child is very crazy and slater was telling to victoria don't talk silly because you know that your grandfather is dead who was telling like that mrs slater was telling then victoria no no he is getting up i saw him when slater was telling that you know your grandfather has died then victoria is telling no no he is um, he is getting up i saw she is telling no grandfather is not dead i saw him getting up they are transfixed with amazement victoria clings to mrs slater so everyone was in a shock how a dead man would be alive and victoria was holding her mother tight then ben suddenly hissed listen then ben also suddenly what did he say hissed listen they look at the door a slight chuckling is heard from upstairs so there was everyone was listening to the sound what was that they look at the door uh, a slight chuckling is heard from upstairs means some type of sound they can hear from upstairs and the doors the door opens 
so what happened after that sound the door was opened revealing an old man clad in a faded but gay dressing gown so what happened when the doors was open they see an old man clad in a faded but gay dressing gown so in which type of gown he was he they have seen a old man in a faded but gay gown gay dressing gown they have seen the old man so he is in his stark stockinged feet who the old man was in his stockinged feet although over 70 he is vigorous and well colored what is the age of her of that old man his age is 70 years so although he was 70 years he is vigorous and he is well colored his bright malicious eyes twinkle under his heavy reddish gray eyebrows so how is the appearance of this old man his bright malicious eyes they twinkle under his heavy and reddish gray eyebrows how are his eyebrows reddish gray eyebrows so his eyes are twinkling under his heavy reddish gray eyebrows he is obviously elder the obviously either the old man abel mary weather or else his ghost so he is obviously the old man what is the name of him abel mary weather so they are in a shock whether he is that old man or else his ghost what generally we call it as spirit isn't it so uh they are in a confusion whether is that the old man abel mary weather or his ghost so what happened when victoria was telling that her grandfather is not dead so no, everyone was in a shock by the time they heard the sound of a, a door opening and they have seen an old man clad in a faded gay dressing gown and he is in his stocking feet and means and what is the age of that old man he was over 70 and he is vigorous and well colored and his bright and malicious eyes twinkled under his heavy reddish gray eyebrows and he is obviously either the old man abel meriweth or his ghost so they everyone are in a shock whether he is mr abel meriweth or his ghost so continued in b reading so this lesson is not con- completed so this is one part means a reading we have completed so in b reading also we are going to continue the same lesson so i hope till here you all have understood the lesson and uh, i want all your notes to be completed as you are going to come to your schools from tomorrow so everyone should bring your notes up to date and uh, we'll be continuing the remaining part of the lesson in our next session thank you have a good day